So my name's uh, Ben Tish. Um, I'm the chef director for the Salt Yard Group. So when we opened uh, Opera Tavern, um, we decided to give a, 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 a nod to its pub heritage. We concentrate on flavours of Spain and Italy predominantly, and it's small plate concept, so selection of meat, fish, vegetables, and small plates that you can share. Uh, and have a delicious, you know, healthy, kind of well-sourced in ingredient meal and not pay through the nose for it, yeah. Wild Harvest um, is a great company. I mean, we, I've worked with them for a long time and yeah, they certainly help with consistency. I mean, their produce, they source and suppliers, you know, they're, they're, they're meticulous in their kind of selection. So Wild Harvest are very good at communicating what products they have and seasonality. I mean, that's one of the big things. They, they're always on hand to hand and you know they, they will go out their way to help me source things that they might not have already so there's that kind of relationship and I just think it's a really nice relationship and I'm very comfortable with it. So the first dish is a crispy pork belly with a braised Iberico pig's cheek, uh, celeriac puree and some pickled clams. First thing, salt the pork belly for 12 hours and then press it between two trays and you've got a nice kind of flat even skin. So on service, uh, pork belly, very, very hot pan in the oven with plenty of vegetable oil in the bottom of the pan so it's smoking. Then the next thing to do are the beautiful big Iberico pig's cheeks. Uh, marinate them in red wine with some vegetables for about 12 hours uh, and then finish that with a rich chicken stock and some sherry in there as well. Uh, celeriac puree, we brine our celeriac so we peel them, cook them in milk uh, until they're nice and tender and puree them. Uh, and then the other elements before we assemble it are, are the clams. So we get some nice Venus clams that we steam open in a little bit of white wine, uh, a little bit of butter and some saffron. So to plate, we've got a nice slick of uh, celeriac puree, then a, the pig's cheek with a little bit of the braising liquor over the top, and then the crispy pork belly to one side, the clams just scattered around with a few parsley shoots at the end, that's it. So the next dish for today is roasted hake with uh, chimie de wrapper or turnip tops, uh, an endia sauce and some sauteed rolls. So we've got some nice hake fillets that we just salt for about three or four hours, firm them up nicely and let them dry out in the fridge uncovered for about an hour so they're really, really nice for roasting. Then for the endia sauce, we've got some beautiful um, Calabrian endia. All you do is just take a piece of that, break it down into a pan with a little bit of water. And then to that we add a splash of cream, slight consistency. Uh, and then really it's just assembly then. So we, nice hot pan for the fish, olive oil in the pan, roast the fish, three or four minutes on each side so it's nicely caramelized. And, and then we've got blanched turnip tops that we just warm through in the, uh, in the pan with the mushrooms. And really it's just a case of assembly as I say. So uh, nice bit of endia sauce on the plate, top with the turnip tops, the roasted hake on top of that, and scatter the rolls around, a little bit of red amaranth, and that's it. So the dessert today uh, is quite an unusual one. We've got uh, a brown butter panna cotta with spice biscuits and a PX and raisin ice cream. So for the panna cotta, we caramelise um, milk solids, set it into the uh, panna cotta mould, uh, and I guess three or four hours, something like that should be fine in the fridge, nicely set. And then spice biscuits, and then we basically want to break them up, not too powdery, you want to keep a bit of kind of texture to them, so slightly irregular I think is a, a, a good way to do it. We've got some Malaga raisins, so we chop those through uh, and marinate them in some Pedro Ximenez sherry, and then that just gets put into the ice cream. Uh, a nice scoop of ice cream on top of that, and then uh, we fin finish with some really nice green fresh thyme, not the dried kind of stuff that you get on stalks at the end of the summer, but this stuff that's around now, so nice sprinkle of that on top, and that's it, ready to serve. <laughs> 